Yo, what is going on everybody? And if you are keeping up with NFL news at all, you would know Devontae Parker just got traded for a third rounder next year to the Patriots. Also included with that trade was a fifth rounder from the Dolphins. So the Dolphins sent Devontae Parker in a fifth rounder to New England for a third rounder in the 2023 draft. So that means now that the Dolphins only have four picks in total in this draft. We have a third rounder, a fifth rounder, and I believe two seventh rounders. I might be wrong on that. And we we lost Devontae Parker, but that's not really as much as a blow. Because now we have a lot more financial leverage to work with. He was taking up a... A good amount of money but now we can sort of open up that cap a little bit so now we might be able to make a move for JC Treader some other free agent that's still somehow on the board I mean we're over two weeks into this free agency we're about we're almost in the third week of free agency and there's still some big names on the board Tyron Matthews still on the board JC Treader still on the board I mean Bobby Wagner just got taken off going to LA which is gonna it's gonna be dangerous for the Rams next year they're gonna be looking good again upgrading everything but I just wanted to sort of come on here and talk about the Devontae Parker trade and what this might mean for us because we just got rid of our good jump ball receiver, 50-50 receiver. So now maybe maybe Greer does go back into the first round with that space, make a move to the first round, take a another jump ball receiver, maybe like Traylon Burks, Christian Watson, Drake London, maybe make some sort of move like that. But this, this isn't going to be that big of a blow to the Dolphins, especially gaining a pick next year. Next year, we're going to have a, two first-round picks, a second-round, and two third-round picks. So we have three picks in the course of, well, five picks in the course of three rounds, which is going to be pretty packed next year for our draft compared to this year. Because as the Rams taught us, screw them picks. Like, <laughs> if you want to go all in, win the Super Bowl, and you want to be good now, Screw them picks. Just jump in, be good, put your name into contention, and that's exactly what Miami's doing right now. I mean, we got rid of Devontae. Now we're sort of just getting rid of picks, gaining some for next year maybe, just to buff this team up now, make us good now. And I really like what Mike Medano's doing. I mean, he comes in here, and he's he's made moves. Him and Chris Greer are making moves. We, we've made a ton of free agency moves. I mean, this is probably like our 10th, 11th move we've made. And maybe we do drop a receiver. We jump into the first round, second round, maybe get a receiver like a, a Christian Watson, Traylon Burks, as I said. I mean, we now, our receiver room is stacked, and that was not a big blow. He would have been probably receiver four anyway, behind Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, Christian, not Christian Watson, behind Cedric Wilson. So Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, Cedric Wilson, then it would have been Devontae Parker. So it wouldn't. It's not a huge blow. I mean, we're we're gonna live. We're gonna be very well in contention this year, especially not really through the draft, but through free agency. We've made moves, a ton of them. And now losing him, again, not a big deal. We can just maybe go back and I would like to see Greer. We've seen it before, as I've said, jump back after trading back jumps back into a spot in the first, second round to take a receiver. We might take linebacker. I feel like linebacker is probably our biggest need in the draft, and we can definitely buff it next year, if not this year. So that's really all I wanted to talk about is just us getting rid of Devontae Parker. I mean, and he's he was a good player, but a third-round pick for him is a lot more than I expected. And we kind of assumed he was going to be gone sometime soon anyway because, again, at the NFL meeting, Greer said that he got many calls about Devontae, and this isn't a huge shock. I mean, if you've been keeping up with Chris Greer, it's not a huge shock. We we had some, some idea that he was going to be gone, but for a third rounder, that's a lot more than I thought we'd get out of it, and I, we profited in that trade, and I, I'm not hugely against that trade. But now we're going to be able to have a lot of draft capital next year, make good moves next year, and that's, that's really all I wanted to say.
So thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace.